Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video. So today I'll be showing you the best settings for Razer Snaps. Um, just really quick before I get started, over 90% of my viewers aren't actually subscribed. So if you enjoy uh, the video, please subscribe. Uh, it's completely free and you can always unsubscribe if you don't want to be subscribed anymore. Uh, but for those of you who are subscribed, thank you very much. So anyway, let's get started. So um, this is um, a profile I created for Razer Synapse. I have the Razer Lancehead uh, wireless mouse. And so I'm just going to be going over what I recommend for settings. This is what I use. Um, of course, you can have different settings if you want, but it's just my recommendation. So starting off with a key assignment. So if you don't know how to assign a button, a certain like a function or key, um, I will put a card in the top right corner so you can go watch a video how to do that. But um, anyway, so this is what I have. So I have uh, left click, right click, just standard. And then scroll click is also standard. Scroll up, scroll down. Um, and then I have for this mouse button right here, I have control C, which is to copy. And then the uh, mouse button underneath is control V, which is to paste. And then for the two mouse buttons on the side, I have just uh, default. So in Chrome, you can go like back and forth on web pages. So I use that. On the other side, I have enter right here which is like if I type something and then I want to search and I just click enter. Um, I, I kind of find it useful. It, it's a bit of a weird placement, but I've actually gotten used to it. So uh, yeah. And then next to that, I have Razor Hypershift. So if I hold that key down, I can then use any of these other uh, mappings that I have here. So red, blue, ultimate spectrum, and none are all chroma effects that I have. Um, so if you want to see how I made those, um, I will put a card in the top right corner again. So you can check that out. And then I have uh, mute volume if I press the scroll click, uh, volume up, volume down if I move the scroll uh, wheel up and down. And then I have control X, because I use control C more often, but if I do want to use control X, I just uh, do this uh, with the, this mouse button here. And I have control A, which is to select all of like a, a piece of text. And then here on the left, I have play, pause, and next track for like uh, music or something like that. Um, and yeah, so those are basically the uh, key uh, mappings and assignments that I have. Now if I go to performance, you can see I have um, uh, DPI, which is pretty much how sensitive the, the mouse is to your movement. Um, I have mine at 4500. And so for polling rate, I have 1000. Uh, apparently that uses up more CPU than like having 500. And uh, the difference is like not really noticeable, but I just use 1000 since I have a pretty good CPU in this computer. But uh, you can use uh, 500 if that works for you. Now if I go on to lighting, I have a few different effects. Uh, which I'm not going to go over too much because I have um, that advanced chroma video and I, I also have another one on how to do audio based lighting which is uh, this effect right here but yeah you can uh, go to chroma studio and uh, set those up if you would like and I'll show you how to do those effects in um, those videos so yeah go ahead and check those out if you want and then yeah so I have brightness uh, which is like how bright the lighting is on the um, on the mouse so I have it at 100 and then I have um, switch off lighting so sometimes I forget to turn off my uh, mouse when I like uh, go somewhere else and so I have it uh, so that the lighting turns off after five minutes just so I don't waste the battery on the mouse uh, and I'm gonna go to calibration so um, I used to have this calibration on the mouse pad that I have now I just have it at uh, no calibration it's just um, I didn't really notice a difference so I just got rid of it but if you want to figure out how to calibrate your mouse I'll put a link to that video again in the top right corner and then now I have power so uh, wireless power saving, so um, this is the uh, mouse will enter sleep mode if it's idle for this one minutes. I'm actually going to reduce this now that I think about it to like 5 minutes um, so I save a bit more power. And then this low battery effect is the mouse will start blinking red if it has low battery, so that's at uh, 15%. Um, I may actually reduce that to like 10 just because I usually plug it in immediately after it um, starts blinking. Uh, so yeah, those are the settings I use for my Razer mouse. Once again, if you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video.